from your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. On this pleasant summer night, we'll start you out at the Fighting Scott Edinburgh University where they had a high today of 83, have cooled to 63 after a low of 50. So nice night last night, a little bit warmer tonight, but still very pleasant. Uh, thanks to Jane, she got the sunflower, a very popular picture here uh, at this time of year out uh, in Conneaut, Ohio. Thanks so much for that. Close to the lake where you're in Conneaut or Erie, Tomorrow's marine forecast, mostly sunny skies, waves 1 to 2 feet, southeast to northwest winds 6 to 12 knots. A uh, great place to be for tomorrow because temperatures are going to be coming up from our high in Erie, which was also 83, and our low was 60. Precipitation continues to be a theme here in August with the lack of precipitation. You can see we've only had 1.06, and normal to date would be 2. 3, 8. And we've been looking at this drought monitor just to show you not just the Erie area, but places even further to the south and east like Meadville and Warren, more in a moderate drought, and even a little bit more concerning down here by Forest and McKean County's Oil City area. And please, if you're going camping and all that kinds of outdoor activity, remember we're in uh, a moderate risk across the uh, western two-thirds of Pennsylvania for fire danger. So you know, word to the wise there. Uh, if you're camping, the heat gets turned up tonight. So does the steam as we go through the weekend. But there's really just a little bit of a rain chance and probably not even for Erie on Sunday. So it should be a mainly dry, if not completely dry weekend. 72 from Doc Tom Miller at the Niagara Pier. 62 Lore in Edinburgh. 64 Carroll in Union City. Uh, Warren Fire Department, a warmer reading at 69 in the downtown and 66 in Titusville. Now, the dew points are kind of borderline. When you get the upper 50s to low 60s, you're basically comfortable and not too sticky yet. But these are going to be coming up, as you can see here on the next graphic, way into the upper 60s as we go through the weekend and early next week. So maybe the beach is the place to be tomorrow, 83 to 87 in the air. The water temperatures, 74 to 78. Obviously a high UV index with a lot of sunshine. So we've got a high pressure area blocking rain to the north and rain to the south, acting as a heat pump, pulling this warmer air back up across the lower Great Lakes. If you're talking tropics, we have tropical storm Laura, and we have tropical depression, which would become Marco. So they're both kind of close to the Gulf. And Laura is the tropical storm. She has a name. So what that means is she is stronger. And here is the track, not becoming a huge hurricane, but that's the cone of uncertainty, as they say, as we go through the next three to five days. Our forecast locally, mainly clear and pleasant tonight. Lows about 65 downtown, mid to upper 50s, south and east of 90. Sunny and warm tomorrow. High temperatures, mid to perhaps upper 80s in some spots. Tomorrow night, a little bit more humid, 58 to 68 degrees. And on your extended forecast, you can see that slight chance of a thunderstorm mainly to the southeast of Erie, but we're 88 on Sunday. We still have some rain chances Monday and Tuesday, but they don't look like they're going to produce a lot of rain. Very warm Wednesday and Thursday and a better chance for maybe some storms at the end of next week. Check that seven-day, 24 hours a day on the weather page at your Erie.com.